In Chapter 10, we will learn more about the different types of RNA and how RNA is transcribed from the DNA sequence. We will start with Section 10.1 covering the types of RNA. Recall that RNA has two chemical differences from the DNA molecule. RNA uses the ribose sugar that contains the 2' prime hydroxyl and it also uses the uracil base in place of thymine in the DNA. These minor chemical differences result in major structural differences between the molecules. While DNA is held in the rigid structure of the alpha helix, RNA is usually single-stranded and therefore has much more variation in the shapes that it can adopt. RNA can largely be divided into two types, one that carries the code for making proteins or coding RNA, which is also called messenger RNA and non-coding RNA. The non-coding RNA can be subdivided into several types depending on either the length of the RNA or on the function. Size classification begins with the short non-coding RNAs of 20 to 30 nucleotides. These include microRNAs and small interfering RNAs. These small non-coding RNAs up to 200 nucleotides include transfer RNA, small nuclear RNA, and small nucleolar RNA, and long non-coding RNAs that are greater than 200 nucleotides include ribosomal RNA, enhancer RNA, and long intergenic non-coding RNAs, among others. Cells access the information stored in DNA by creating RNA through the process of transcription, which then directs the synthesis of proteins through the process of translation. The three main types of RNA directly involved in protein synthesis are messenger RNA, ribosomal RNA, and transfer RNA. The messenger RNA carries the message from DNA, which controls all of the cellular activities in a cell. If a cell requires a certain protein to be synthesized, the gene for this product is turned on and the messenger RNA is synthesized through the process of transcription. The messenger RNA then interacts with the ribosome and other cellular machinery to direct the synthesis of the protein it encodes during the process of translation. Messenger RNA is relatively unstable and short-lived within the cell especially in prokaryotic cells, ensuring that proteins are only made when needed. The post-transcriptional expression levels of many genes can be controlled by RNA interference, in which microRNAs, specific short RNA molecules, pair with messenger RNA regions and target them for degradation. This process is aided by small proteins called argonauts. This antisense-based process involves steps that first process the microRNA so that it can base pair with the region of the target messenger RNA. Once the base pairing occurs, other proteins direct the messenger RNA to be destroyed by nucleases. Therefore, microRNAs play an important role in protein expression. At steady state, the vast majority of human cellular RNA consists of ribosomal RNA. 
approximately 90% of total RNA from most cells is ribosomal RNA. Although there is less transfer RNA by mass, their small size results in their molar level being higher than the ribosomal RNA. Other abundant RNAs such as messenger RNA, small nuclear RNA, and small nucleolar RNAs are present in aggregate levels that are about one to two orders of magnitude lower than the ribosomal RNA. Certain small RNAs, such as microRNAs, can be present at very high levels. However, this appears to be cell type dependent. Long nuclear RNAs are present at levels that are two orders of magnitude less than the total messenger RNA. Although it's estimated the number of different types of human long nuclear RNAs may have a very restricted expression pattern, and thus they may accumulate to higher levels within specific cell types. For example, sequencing of mammalian transcriptomes has revealed more than 100,000 different long nuclear RNA molecules that can be produced compared with the approximate 20,000 protein coding genes. The diversity and function of the transcriptome within biological processes are currently a highly active area of research. In the next section, we'll take a closer look at the process of transcription.